Want to transform your presentations to the next level? Then this tutorial is just for you. Welcome to SlideMaster. In this tutorial, we'll create a professional and fully animated slideshow in PowerPoint. This presentation idea will blow your mind. Ready to create this animated risk meter in PowerPoint? Let's go. First, take a blank slide and fill it with a solid color background of your choice. Now, insert a block arc shape in the center of the slide and adjust its height and width to 8.1 inches. Next, duplicate this shape four times, stacking them over the original shape. Resize and adjust each shape to create five separate sections for your meter. Ensure there's equal spacing between each section, and when you're happy with the alignment, it's time to style them. Let's start with the first section. Select it, go to Format Shape, and apply a solid color of your choice. Change the outline color to white, and set the width to 4.5 points. Then add some shadow magic. Go to Shape Effects, select Shadow, and choose the Inner Shadow preset. Set the blur to 50 points and angle to 50 degrees. Once the first section is ready, use the Format Painter tool in the Home tab to quickly copy these effects to the remaining sections. Don't forget to give each section a unique fill color for better visual appeal. Now, it's time to create the arrow for our meter. Insert a triangle shape and position it in the center of the arcs. Add a circle at the bottom of the triangle and adjust its size. Select both shapes and fill them with a matching color. Add a white outline with a width of 2.25 points. For a polished look, go to Shape Effects, choose Bevel, and apply the fourth preset. Finally, ensure all the shapes, including the meter sections and the arrow, are perfectly centered on the slide. And there you have it, 
your risk meter is ready. Add a title to your slide to introduce the risk meter. Then, duplicate the slide and add content text boxes to explain each section of the meter. Ensure the text is clear, concise, and well-placed for readability. Now, change the position of the arrow to highlight the first section of the meter. Duplicate the slide and reposition the arrow to point to the second section. Repeat this process for all sections until each has its own slide. After this arrangement, you got six slides. Now go to the second slide, delete all the content except the first one. Move to the third slide and remove all the contents except the first and second. Repeat this process for all remaining slides, ensuring each slide highlights a one section of the risk meter. Time to add some animations to your slides. Start with the last slide, select the fifth text box and apply a float in animation. Set it to start with previous. Go to the previous slide and apply the same animation to the fourth text box. Repeat this for the remaining slides, working your way to the first slide. For the second slide, Apply additional animations to the shapes for extra flair. Don't forget to use the morph transition across all slides for a seamless flowing effects. And that's it. Your animated risk meter is ready to impress your audience with its dynamic effects and professional design. Want to learn more creative PowerPoint tricks like this? Hit the like button, subscribe to SlideMaster, and ring the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.